What's up, everybody? So, I don't know if everyone here heard. I only know a little bit. I don't know too, too much, but I heard on the news, I think this was a couple of weeks ago, about some guy in a bodega getting robbed or something, and then he ended up killing this guy, basically defending himself because what I think was happening was, I don't know if he was stabbing, or I think it was his girlfriend that was stabbing him or something. And he, I know he was pushing him. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the whole story, but he was basically defending himself, the guy, and he ended up, I think he ended up stabbing the guy and killed him. And now he's getting arrested for it. But how I look at it as he didn't do anything wrong. He was defending himself. His life was at risk. He was possibly going to get killed. So he took an act and ended up defending himself by killing the guy. And now he's supposedly going in jail in Rikers Island. And yeah, I just feel like that's totally unnecessary. It's just to show you how fucking stupid the law really is, you know. They're trying to protest, they're trying to do all fights, legal shit or whatever, hell, legal statements, whatever, to try to, you know, bail him out or whatever. Meanwhile, this, basically what I'm just trying to say is, this shouldn't have happened to begin with. He didn't do anything wrong, you know. He killed someone, but maybe if he didn't kill that person, he would have been dead. And why should if he, why should he be dead? You know, that's how I look at it as. That's how I look at it as. The law just makes no fucking sense. You're done if you do, you're done if you don't. That's how I look at it as. You ever heard that saying? You, you're fucked if you do it, you're fucked if you don't. It's like, what's the point at this point? That's like me basically saying, I'm in the car right now, right? For example, some crazy guy just randomly comes up to this door and bashes the window and starts strangling me. And start strangling me. Basically going to kill me. And I maybe let's just say I have a knife. In the glove compartment. And I end up stabbing him to try to get him off me. But I end up killing him. I go to jail. I go to jail. For what? For me just minding my own business. Being in the car. Making a video like I'm doing. And out of nowhere. <laughs> You're under arrest. I'm under arrest. He was going to kill me man. That's what I'm saying. This fucking... This is all bullshit. That guy deserves to be free. He shouldn't have no record. And I'm sure at some point he is going to be free. But it's... Besides the point, he shouldn't have even gone in this situation to begin with. This should have never happened. It makes no fucking sense. What the hell did he do wrong? All right, he killed the bastard. But who cares? That bastard was trying to kill him. I don't know anymore. It's like... It's just... I don't know, what planet are we living in, man? What is this fucking world? It's like what I'm saying, you know? Like, what is this shit? We're gonna get in trouble for something we, you know, we had nothing, we had no control of. We're trying to defend ourselves, you know? I don't know. I'm just, I'm speechless. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I'm speechless. I'm literally like, holy shit, what the fuck, man? That type of feeling. I'm sorry, but if I don't feel like he did anything wrong, it's like another if, if someone breaks into your house and let's say you have a gun under your bed or in the closet or whatever, wherever you keep it. And, you know, the guy has a gun, too, let's say, and you end up shooting him, killing him. He's in your property. He's in your house. Why are you in my house? So you shouldn't get in trouble. And that's the thing. You'll probably get arrested for that, too. I'm saying the law just makes no fucking sense I mean they're gonna eventually probably get this guy out he's not gonna have no record but still besides the point of all this this is so unnecessary all this shouldn't have even happened to begin with the guy's just trying to make a living sheep duty you know like a sheep duty like we all try and do and some random asshole came in to try to rob him the girl uh, with his girlfriend the girlfriend I think was stabbing him he was pushing I, I, don't, I don't know the whole story but they're basically trying to kill him you know so, he act, he he acted and killed him. I don't know if the girlfriend left. I mean, like I said, I don't know the whole fucking story. I didn't really watch it like that. I just know a little glimpse of it. But basically what I'm saying is the guy, they went in there to steal from the guy and possibly kill him. But thank God it went the other way around. So now he's going to jail. I mean, come on, man. This is fucking, this is ridiculous. Besides the point, if he's free or not free, this shouldn't have happened. And he should be free. It shouldn't have happened. You know? 
it's like basically what I'm saying. I'm just in the car right now. Some guy strangles me and I stab him. I end up killing him and I, I'm going to go to jail. Meanwhile, I was just trying to save myself. This guy was trying to kill me. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't know anymore. It's like, you can't make this shit up. The law is so fucking stupid, man. Now, how I look at it, let's say, for example, somebody breaks in a house, right? Me personally, I do have a pistol under the bed and I have a shotgun downstairs. So let's say someone breaks in, right? Me personally, I'm not looking to kill the person. I may be looking to wound him. But besides the point, if I end up killing the person, I still shouldn't get in trouble because why the hell did he break into my house? And let's say he's trying to threaten to kill me or whatever the scenario is. You should have every right to do whatever the hell he has no right being in your home you know so that's basically another example how i'm pointing that out i don't know i mean it's just that's how i fucking look at it as of course i wouldn't want to try to aim for the head i would maybe want to try to aim towards the legs or something but still if let's say i have bad aim and i ac accidentally did shot him in the head and he's dead it's still certain be my problem because why the hell is he in my house in the first place he's at wrong and now that he's dead, they can't arrest him, so they come for us. And besides the point whether I killed him or not killed it, it shouldn't matter. I, sh I shouldn't go to jail regardless. It's not like I just walking around, you know, uh, I'm going to do a mass shooting or something. You know, like, then I can understand, but <laughs> it's just, I don't know, man. The law just, it makes no fucking sense. Uh, this whole existence just makes no fucking sense. This whole fucking, this whole fucking life makes no fucking sense. But all I know is the dude should be free. He shouldn't even be in Rikers Island right now. With all those other bad criminals and shit. I mean, I'm sure they got him, like, in his own cell or whatever. But still, he shouldn't be in no fucking cell. Bad enough he's in a cell all day, a bodega all fucking day, sitting behind a counter. That's like a cell in itself, you know? Just trying to make ends fucking meet. And now he suffers the consequences. And, and now he's got all this shit going on. When meanwhile, it's not even his fault. He saved himself. He was protect. He was self defense mode. He protected himself. <sighs> I don't know too much more what I can say about this, but I just wanted to get that out there, man. But anyway, I think I am gonna wrap it there. Please be safe. And yeah, I just don't see why we should suffer the consequences for trying to just protect ourselves. You know, it's like a getting bullied in school. You know, someone hits you, hit fucking back. You're going to get suspended too. All fucking well. Shouldn't have, you shouldn't get suspended. It's like another, it's like this is a different topic, but it, it all adds up if you know what I mean. You know, you get suspended because you started hitting him. Meanwhile, he's attacking you. The asshole should get suspended. You're just defending yourself. It's not like you're looking around. Yo, give me your money, man. Huh. <clears throat> I'm going to fuck you up, man. You know, <laughs> if that's the case, then yeah, I can understand. But it's like we suffer the consequences. And what I mean by we're darn if we do, we're darn if we don't. Because like, think of it like this. Let's say you're getting bullied, right? And you don't do nothing about it. You're darned because you're just going to keep getting picked on. You know, you're going to keep getting picked on. Beat up or teased or whatever, whatever it is. And then you're darned if you do. Because if you do hit back. You get suspended or you might get kicked out of the school or... or oh, fuck, man. Well, oh, good. Fuck school in general. <laughs> you know, I'm glad. All kidding aside, man, I'm glad I'm not in school anymore. And I never really got bullied. I mean, there's times we all get a little teased, silly jokes and shit, you know. But, you know, nothing really bad. But I do feel for those poor people that really have, have it bad in school. And, you know, it's scary. There's some nights I have dreams where... I'm back in school again and I'm like holy shit and when I wake up I'm like oh man thank god it's just a dream man a nightmare I should say never mind a dream but literally like I start getting these fucking dreams where I'm back in school all over again and I'm like what the hell man didn't I get this shit over with already you know what I mean and like here we go again square one and I'm like oh man whoo yeah I'm, I get those nightmares very often sometimes you know but uh Anyway, guys, yeah, I'm going to wrap it there, man. Stay safe out there. And my suggestion, someone fucks with you, whether it's beating you up, <laughs> teasing you, whatever. Well, I mean, if they lay a hand on you, you have every right to hit them back, fuck them up, whatever. You know, I'm not saying let's kill people, but I'm just saying defend, protect yourself. 
you know? We should all have that right to protect ourselves. There shouldn't be no consequences against that. It's not like we're causing trouble. We're trying to defend ourselves. Well, I mean, what are we going to be? Just a friggin', uh, how can I put it as? Like, like a friggin', a dummy just getting punched, you know, like a puncher bag. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to do nothing about it. Mm. Mm. I'm a dummy. Mm. Fuck out of here. Hit me. I'm fucking your ass up, you know? But, I mean, that's the attitude I like, you know? that we should all have, you know, but anyway, calling it a day there. Love you all and stay safe in this shithole of a world we call effing earth. Garbage. <laughs>